All right, what is up everybody? Welcome back to yet another video in our series of videos where we try to create our own Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer co-op action game. So let's just get into it. Uh, as always, link in the description for Patreon if you want to support me. Also, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it. Currently working on our combat system. Just made our combat text. And final thing here for now, I think, is to actually... I think I want to add a hit flash as well. Um, not anything, yeah. As always, like all of the parts here, if you don't want something, just don't make it and leave it out. But I'm gonna make hit flash. I like it, so let's do it. Uh, we are all, all of these mannequins that we are using are using this master, this mannequin material. We'll probably make another master material blah, material later, but we're gonna use this Quinn material. This is the master one, master mannequin. Uh, so we're gonna use this to actually do a hit flash. I would like to make a master material that we can reuse later, but most I do not understand what they, why they insist on doing this, but this is not like a standard material setup for characters or anything actually. Usually you would have like an ORM texture or something where, which you can use uh, and make or make yourself. This is a bit more complicated, but we're gonna add it here for now and then probably move it later. Um, so yeah, in here we will uh, basically add a, how do we do this? We're gonna use the missive color to basically make a hit flash. It's not very hard. We'll, do f we'll start by in this material, or you can do it in your own material. It's fine, whichever. So I'm gonna start by making a Fresno. I'm gonna press M to multiply and right click in the vector parameter. And this will be hit flash color. by default it's gonna be a red I guess uh, we will add another multiply scalar parameter so we hit flash value and that's pretty much it we already have emissive plugged in here, so we're gonna add it, or maybe multiply it. Let's add. So if I now set this to 1, you will see it has this red around it. And it's too, yeah, that barely shows in that, obviously. But you can see it shows on my characters. Maybe we should change the color of uh, the enemy. But this is basically the full value of the flesh. You can obviously uh, make it higher, maybe 10. More obvious. Yeah, that's definitely more obvious. So I will just select this material. MPC1, I'm gonna change it to Oh, blue is my player. Maybe like pink. I don't know. Red seems good for enemies because let's do yellow. Uh, NPC. There we go. 
just so the hit slash is a bit more obvious. And it's gonna pre be pretty obvious with red. Let's go with red. Maybe like orange. That's enemies now. This is not an actual problem, because normal materials, normally the characters will be not just one color. Um, there we go. So. Master character. Graphs, own graph. Shared functions. Make a new custom event. Should probably start separating them. Uh, pop, 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 pop. Sir, where hits flash? On on server, liable. event multi hit flash multicasts not reliable by the way it's not vital that this happens so we'll add timeline hit flash timeline play from start and this and we're gonna open the timeline add a float track Maybe 0 0.5 seconds. Let's do 0 0.5 seconds. We will add three keys. Right click and just keep adding keys. The first one will be 0, 0. Second one will be 0 0.25, so half of the timeline. It's going to be a value of 10, which is the value of the actual. I can press these to even it out. And last. Key will be zero zero again. Oh, sorry. Last key. Ah, zero point five. So the last key will be zero at zero point five. So the hit flash value will go from zero up to ten and then down again to zero. Yeah. Auto these. And that's about it for the timeline. Call it alpha track. And we're gonna grab our mesh. Actually, let's put this put this timeline here. So it only happens on the server. And we're gonna grab our mesh we grabbed and we're gonna do set scalar parameter value on materials. And this is gonna grab all the materials that are on the mesh. Mm, what did we call it? Hit flash value. Plug in the parameter value. And on the updates, we'll do multi hit flash. And we're just gonna plug in the alpha track like so. And that's fine. Comment it out just so we keep stuff organized. It looks pretty. So now on the master NPC, event point damage, also going to be the server hit flash, and then we go to the material and default it to one again. No. Default it to zero.
and that should now work and replicate. But it's too slow. Uh, we could either just adjust the timeline. Um, I'm gonna give you 0 0.3 in total. This will be 0 0.15, and this will be 0.3. And maybe 10 is too much actually. Seven, five. That's better. Yep, yeah, that's fine. And there we go. Hit start. Combat system shaping up, or at least damage system. So it's wanted to go, but this is pretty much it for the placeholder stuff. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. Let me know if you like it or if you have any questions. As always, Patreon files in the description. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you're new. Comment if you need help, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.